Good morning, brothers. Welcome to the Brown Bag Gentlemen. Playing with a little bit different format here. This is called portrait video, so I'm a little bit further back, so I'm not up so close in your face. <laughs> Although, showing that, I do show you a two-gay growth, which I try to do for Saturday morning shaves. Just have a little bit more taken off this week. And I was having a little bit of the trouble with the razor I was going to show you today. Well, I'm still going to show it to you today, but having a little trouble with this morning. So it's, this is the Shavely razor, which I think I introduced you to. It comes in a package like this. And I'm trying to remember which dollar store I got it from. I mean, there's Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar. I think this came from Dollar Tree, I think. It might have been Dollar. It might have been one of the other two. It was in... You go to the shaving aisle, it's, it was in there. For me, it was the last one there. And it's $7. It's $7. How do you not get into a shave for $7? Um, of course, butterfly style. Already got my Gillette Silver Blue sitting in there. And I've used it. This would be my fourth shave with this for the week. So, yes, I used it. Oh, or is this my fifth shave? I think it's actually technical. Wait a minute. Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. So, yeah, so. But I didn't use it Saturday, I think. So, yeah, I just used it Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So, today is Saturday. So, yeah, so plenty of life in the blade. Not an issue for me. Um, but when I first went to go pull this off the shelf, and because I leave it with the gates, I dry it with the gates open. And that's that's how it is. And it sits just like basically sideways like this on the shelf. That's what it does. So, and then I, this morning when I went to pick it up to close it, it wouldn't budge. So, I mean, I finally got it to work. I tapped it a few times. I messed with it for a few minutes and it closed, but you can hear it squeaking. It needs a little oil. So, yeah, I'm going to put a little WD-40 in there and squirt it down the hole and what have you and through the little right there on that hinge point. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to juice it up with some WD-40 this morning and just let it sit probably for a few days before I clean it up. So just, so just, so you're aware. I mean, yeah, nice fine mineral oil would work great and all that stuff too, but I'm just going to hit it with a WD-40 because... I wanted to give it the heavy duty dose. So, <laughs> penetrating oil, I wanted to penetrate. I want to get it in the nooks and crannies. So, yeah, I'm not going to use the mineral oil. I'm going to use the stinky old WD 40. Yes, it stinks and all that, but that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> and I'll wash it and everything afterwards. All right, so I've already whooped up my lather. Today's lather is tobacco. I haven't used it in a while, so I wanted to use the tobacco lather. Um, just like that. It, it whips up good. It just works. I like it. So, we're going to use that. And of course, we went back for under the nose, went back to the mild twig razor. So the other razor, the, the thorn that you saw me use last week, and some of you liked on the comment on it, what have you, I, my, under my nose is just so, um, just, it's so sensitive that I find this just a little bit more comfortable. I like the other, for shave, I like the other razor better. If I can only have one, I, yeah, I'd have the other one. And yes, I only shave under my nose pretty much like every other day. So it's not a big thing. But this is more comfortable. I have both. This is what I'm going to use for under the nose. This is dedicated under nose shave. And I really do like the other one better for shaving the rest of the face. So yeah, that will. So at one point, you'll see me use both of these. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But that's the way that's going to work. Because I do. I just I just like this milder one for, for right here. Right when, right when you get these spots right here, that's where it's where my skin is sensitive. My skin is sensitive like right through here too. Um, of course, with the whiskers, it's a non-issue in the summertime. It's funny. I grow the whiskers in the summer, not in the winter. All right, I'm just warming up the razor. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me... It's been a few minutes since I washed my face. Yes, I did wash my face first with my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Cube that you've all seen. Yeah, this was used this morning. Oh, rinse my fingers off from that. So let me just... Let me get the face wet. There, dry off my hands. There we go, all righty. And today's brush is, is the Razor Rock. It's the best badger hair. So I, I haven't used a animal hair in a while. I know some of you don't care for animal hair, but I've got them, I'm gonna use them. And yes, I am aware of concerns. So I haven't bought any more. All right, and for me not to use them would be a waste. I don't want to waste that animal.
There we go. And of course the bowl, you all seen the bowl. It's you can't see the the you can't see the yeah the little hummingbird in there, but it's in there. It's yours. <laughs> there, okay, I'm good. Alright. So uh, a little soap under my nose there, a little bit too much soap under my nose. Ugh. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and shave the under the nose first with the twig. One pass, get it done. Yeah. Trying to get in super tight. There we go. I think it'll be up. I could hear it. Yep, there it goes. Took me just an extra second to get to that side. All right. But this is the opposite side for me. So that's rinsed off. Just put that back on the shelf. It's done. Now let's do the rest of the shave. Got the nose done. So here we go. I see I'm getting a phone call. We're just going to take out the voicemail. And how is this seven dollar razor? That's what you're thinking to yourself. How is this? Is it worth even seven dollars? The not that you can tell when it's all wet, but yeah, the the chrome is a little pockmarked. It's not smooth. It, it really is not. It's rough. You say you could hear the metal's a little squeaky. It's a little rough. How's the shave? Not really terribly smooth. It really isn't. But for a cheap razor, ain't bad because it's got enough aggression. It's not so timidly mild that you know it's just that I. Pfft, you know, with the gum, which I spent twice as much money on the what, the, the last razor, um, that Shavely razor. I like this better than the Shavely. The Shavely was what, 15 bucks or whatever. This was seven. I like this better for, for shaving. I do. This, this to me has more, a little more aggression. It's still a mild razor. I would say mild, medium in that range. Maybe not, it's not medium yet, but it's on the medium side of mild. So I like it better. To me, it's. I mean, it's just not as smooth as it in a wood jagger, but I think it's, um, aggression wise, it's about the same. So, you know, that's not really a lot. <laughs> Would I rather shave with the Edwin Jagger? Yes, any day of the week. But that razor is 35 to 50 bucks. This is $7. It's $7, people. <laughs> to me, this would make an awesome travel razor because if it gets banged up, whatever, you're, you're not going to cry about it because it's $7. around I mean yes it's light it's a hollow handle it's a twist handle so yeah it's gonna be a hollow handle it's light like the you know the Gillette, Gillette ones are or my chick is you know it's, little, it's light it's not really heavy at all I, yeah I do prefer a little more heft on my razor it's seven dollars you gotta keep reminding yourself this is seven dollars and it gives a halfway decent shave it's it's a it's got enough aggression in it enough efficiency yeah, that's not terribly smooth. It is not. But for $7, yeah, bravo, really. So would I daily shave with this? Yes, absolutely. Like I said, it was, it's really not an aggressive razor. It's more aggressive than some of the other sheepies especially. I mean, you spend you spend more for a fifty year old Gillette on eBay than you spend for this brand's making new. And yes, I'm sure it's China someplace. I bet it's China. I don't have to look. Yeah. 
Just buffing a little bit. There we go. And that's enough buffing without any more shave cream on because the shave cream isn't that buff. <laughs> isn't that slick? <laughs> Residual slickness. <laughs> so yeah, we got. I'm gonna call it quits. If I want to chase it a little more, yeah, just throw a little more shave cream on. And I get stragglers up here. You get them up high, so I'd like to make sure I get them in the in the smooth. It's nice. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is my fourth time using this one. This is your def definite diamond in the rough. That's what this is. It's just it's coarse around the edges. This is like your biker friend who lives across on the wrong side of the tracks. Yeah. <laughs> and when the going gets tough, you need some work done. That's where you go to. Yeah, that's this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old cliche, very old cliche. <laughs> well, that was not bad. That was not bad. Let me wash this off and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just washed off the, you know, the excess soap off the face. Feels nice. Going to use a little Thayer's Witch Hazel Lemon again. Kind of my summer scent. And does, when I say scent, I mean, you can smell a little bit. It doesn't leave a scent. <laughs> it's in my hands. I can smell the lemonness, the lemony goodness. <laughs> yeah, there we go. A nice little toner. There we go. Let me put it on my hands. And yeah, with which is you just dry your hands and it's a towel you've been using. It's fine. Okay, so yes, yes. Admiral job, little shavely. I'll wash that off and get it let, and clean that up and oil it up and put it back in the box and somebody will get that at a later date. So now let's use the matching tobacco aftershave. Love it, hate it. I enjoy it. The wife enjoys it. So uh, so will I use it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. All right, guys, good shave. See that? Yep. Yeah. Nice and close. Nice, nice, comfortable shave. Say, so not really a smooth razor. Rough around the edges, for sure. It is, but for $7, it does a nice job. Um, I like it really, as far as cheap razors go, it's, it's kind of top of the list right now, just because it is a closer, more... It's a, just a closer, comfortable shave. To say it's not, I'm not worried about getting myself all nicked and cut it. If I said that during the shave, I would have nicked myself. You know that's how it goes. But no, it just it just performed. It did what I wanted it to do. It shaved me close enough. Yeah, going against the grain. Yeah, yeah. Really, very pleased. I really am for a seven dollar razor. It's my best shave. No, probably about a seven out of ten shave. Um, but for seven dollars, yeah, seven's the number for that razor. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. If you got it, um, post it. Let me know. And until then, go with God. <laughs>